Hello friends, Tottenham Hotspur are back. Oh my god. Oh my god. I care. I care. This is a foreign feeling. This is absolutely insane. Ryan Mason, I love you. Thank you for coming in and saving the team with two days. He had to do all that he had to... You know, go in, look at the team, decide everything, be like, what the hell was Jose doing here? And do this. Um, I heard from Gareth Bale, the halftime team talk was really good. And you know what? It showed. This, this was a performance we have not seen in a very, very long time. We controlled the ball. We controlled the ball. We won the ball high up the pitch. We pressed the opposition. Like, oh my days, I'm going to die. I'm going to... What's going on? <sighs> okay, just breathe. It's going to be okay. Um, man of the match is actually manager of the match. Ryan freaking Mason. Look, in time you will learn, if you don't already believe it, that these players are damn good. Really damn good. Giovanni Lo Celso, amazing player. Great performance today. Youngman's son, best season ever this year. 15 goals, 9 assists. Amazing. Gareth freaking Bale, world-class athlete. Man, but hours. Lucas Mora. Tongi and Dombele. <laughs> Sorry, Tongi and Dombele. Silky, provide the first goal. And... The goal that was ruled offside, I think. Yeah. Uh, Hoybier. Warrior. Region. Freaking unit in the second half. Running everywhere like a little, I don't know, torpedo. And just winning the ball back up high and creating stuff. Beautiful. Um, Hoybier. No, not Hoybier. Erica Dyer. Big, strong, playing like left back sometimes. Good in possession. Kept the ball well. Made the midfield strong. And you didn't have to worry about him at the back, because guess what? We kept possession. I know, I know, it's Southampton, and they aren't good right now. But I, I don't care, right? We looked good. Toby Alderweireld, beautiful pings, beautiful player, beautiful say, uh, beautiful blocks, everything. Hugo Lloris, big double save, big amazing saves. Beautiful man, our captain. He's going to be in net, and I'm more than excited for the cup final. Serge Oyer, he had an okay game. Oh my god. It's just so foreign to, um, one, I don't know, we had a bad first half, and we bounced back from it. Yes, the first half wasn't good, but we completely outplayed Southampton like we can do in the second half. Um outshot them, created more than enough chances, and we were just in control the whole game. I what a what a performance and what a game from Ryan Mason. I mean, you just have to feel happy for him. He has taught them through and through and you know, he deserves this. He no longer has the chance to go out there on the pitch himself and make a difference. But he's making a pitch. <laughs> he's making a huge difference to what is happening on the pitch right now for this team. Brilliant, um, brilliant performance. Again, I need some. I need some light. There we go. That's good. Um, yeah. Just, I'm. I'm so happy. Um, this is the first time in a while that the first thing I did, um. I don't know, just like preparing for the match. I was like in the match threads talking about it, wondering what the lineup would be uh, when they scored. I wasn't that worried. I was like, you know, he still has a lot of stuff to figure out. And then when we did score, it wasn't a feeling of utter dread of what would come next after that, potentially the other team coming back into the game because we're sitting on a one-goal lead or something. I backed us to get back in the game and go for another and we didn't stop attacking the whole second half.
half. It's ridiculous. And now I'm just going to eat up all the content I can after the game, all the interviews I can after the game. I'm going to get back invested in Tottenham again, and I'm going to love this team. I already do, way more than I have with Joe Zeja era for many, many months now. It's just brilliant, and it makes me so happy to have my team back. Tottenham are back. They are. Um, and I couldn't, I, again, I couldn't be happier. This was, Southampton, yeah, they're in bad form, but they're a good team. And we showed them what a top of the table, like, Premier League team should do. I'm, I'm just very, I'm proud of Tottenham right now. I, there's been a lot of bad things that have happened in recent days with the Super League nonsense, but now that that's over, I can just really, really appreciate this new team. And hopefully whatever manager comes in in the summer is able to improve even more. I, Ryan Mason, I love him, but he's not going to be the permanent manager, nor would he really want to, I don't think. Um, he's 29. Like, <laughs> he has plenty of time to become our manager. But, yeah, I think he needs to get experience. But for right now, I'm going to back him with all my heart because he is Tottenham through and through. And that was Tottenham through and through. That performance. We aren't Burnley. We don't need to play like Jose was playing. I know there are Jose stands out there who are not going to be convinced by this, but I'm not even listening to you anymore. I'm just saying this is the Tottenham I know and love, and I'm going to celebrate this like, <laughs> I, I don't know. I feel like I haven't been able to in months. It just is such a relief. And if we can build on this performance, oh man, there's a team here. Do I expect us to win the freaking cup on Sunday? No. But do I expect us to do better with this team under Ryan Mason than it would have been under Mourinho? You're damn right. That I mean, <laughs> this team already, I don't know, fills me with way more confidence. And if Bale can be on, on it, anything can happen. I really do think that. Let's freaking take the game to them. Let's... <laughs> Freaking come on, you Spurs. We got this. We really do. I put the man bun up for power, and I'll put it up on Sunday. It's not going away. Tottenham are back. I'm just saying it. Top four push. Anything's possible under Mason's army. The Lily White army. I'm going to go enjoy all the post-match content. I'm going to go be a Tottenham supporter again, and I hope you find... A very, very, like, loving atmosphere with this because we have not had that for a very long time. It's just been filled with misery about, oh, well, we're going to get this one goal and then sit on it and then blah, 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 blah. Or we win and then the next, it wasn't a convincing win and we're just like, next performance is just going to be bad and then etc. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Hopefully, you know, things can still go wrong. Mason isn't, f like, flawless, I, but for right now, I'm just going to back him with all my heart. This is our team, and, woo, I couldn't be more excited. On Sunday, let's just bring the, bring the game to them. Play like Tottenham. Play on the front foot. Let's go get Man City. That'll be it for this video. Um, tomorrow, you have a special surprise. I download FIFA 17, and you know who is still on FIFA 17? Ryan Mason. So, I'm going to do a little bit of a player career mode with him and try to score some bangers. So if you're interested in that, subscribe so you see that tomorrow. Like the video if you enjoyed. It keeps me going. I believe it's like about a year since I started the channel. Thank you for your support. And more content's coming this way because the past few months I've just been absolutely out of it. But if this keeps going, 
content's going to keep on coming. So just get ready. Okay, okay, okay. We're done here. Have a very good Tottenham evening. Come on, you Spurs.